of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you gotta do is turn that bell on so you subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. In order to get notifications every time I upload a video, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. That way, every time I upload on the Cryer family, all of you guys will get the notification. We're gonna be checking out this video, man. It's called Forced Off of YouTube, FBI Full Story. And the reason why this video is so interesting for me to talk about is because the situation, it almost relates to me just like on a smaller scale. Um, there are certain things that I couldn't talk about because of an investigation that's going on. As you guys do know, I can talk about certain things now, certain things I will not disclose. I had a situation happen to me online, um, I won't get too far into the details, but just give you guys the basic. I had to, my attorney, I didn't have to hire an attorney. My attorney is already on retainer. Um, and because of a situation that occurred over a year ago or whatever. And so my attorney had to hire his own investigator to track down individuals for a situation that happened online. And so now we have located, made uh, locations and stuff like that. And let's just say everything is starting to work out in its favor. Um, I believe I was one of the blessed ones when it comes to stalking, but every situation doesn't always turn out as good as mine did. Um, even though there is small things and my situation is still arising and give you guys like a small piece of what's been going on in my situation is still arising before we get into this serious topic right here. As of to date, um, there's some old recordings from a year, two years, and some even almost three years ago. And then those recordings were shared with other people and are now been shared with like smaller branches of YouTube content creators who's using it to try to, I don't know if it's to try to bring me down or to run me off YouTube, but they're not gonna bring me down. They're definitely not running me off YouTube. I am proud to say I am literally living my best life guys I am literally living my best life so when you see those old videos guys keep in mind those are old videos from like I said a year ago two years ago some even three years ago so today man I'm gonna be talking about this story right here that happened um, about a year ago you guys may know this famous youtuber by the name of Roman Atwood uh, and this is a real life story and I will be doing other videos very soon about these and similar stories about how YouTubers were stalked. Even going to do a segment later this week or this weekend about how YouTubers were stalked and actually killed while they were being stalked. Um, so it's, it's really sad because people do this to provide for their families. They find a way out to be able to make life a little easier for themselves and their family, their loved ones, the people that they support and they depend on. And as I always say in my videos, guys, there's enough out here for everybody to make money. But it's sad when one person would actually have another person killed or actually have a person stalked. So there's a lot of people who's going through similar stories like this. This is very serious and there's things that you can do to protect yourself. The wheels of the law, they turn slow. They do, but they do turn. So all I'm gonna say is if you are a victim that's experiencing something like that, just know that the wheels of the law does turn slow, but they do turn. So we're gonna get into this video, man, afterwards. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Their video is 14 minutes long. Um, so I'm gonna try not to make this too long, guys, but we're gonna react to it and we're gonna talk about it. So without further ado, let's do this. On and be us without making this video right here. This is kind of like what we've been dying to make for a while. I'm excited to make this video, but it's it's like we have to kind of relive what's been going on. So we need to talk about it. We need to explain to you guys and 
not really stuff that we want to rethink about. So it's going to be tough. Um, ugh. The super obvious question is why have you guys literally disappeared? It wasn't like, hey guys, we're gonna take um, 2020 off. It was like we disappeared. One of the hardest things, we, I mean, we've been on YouTube for 12 years and for us to just vanish is, it's serious. We have left out of the fear of our life. Literally. The safety of our kids, like our house, our everything we have. All of, most of you know at the end of the day, we're just a family. Like we are literally a mom and dad with our kids. So that's the thing right there. You have people like this and like myself, we're just a family. We're just YouTube content creators. And then you have people who attach themselves to you. And sometimes when those people attach themselves to you, it's really sometimes our own fault because we should have never allow that to happen. We should have not responded like that. We should have never, you know, like did things to make them continue coming for us. And that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video, you know, we do this to support our families, to take care of our loved ones, to take care of our responsibilities, to try to make life better for ourselves and the people that surround us. And that's why we do this. And this is another situation. Again, I haven't heard his full story, but my story is mediocre to his because I think in his story, he doesn't know, uh, well, as of right now, he doesn't know who his stalkers are. I actually know who mine are, um, but we're gonna continue. And nothing is more important than, our, and than the safety of our family. When the safety of our family comes into place, it's family. So we left YouTube out of the fear for our family. So why do we leave over fear? Why would somebody on YouTube for 12 years just disappear off YouTube? It would have to be so serious. Like YouTubers in general have to deal with certain things. That's part of the sword. It's a double-edged sword. It, it, there's a lot of good, and then it comes with just certain things. It's part of our career paths. Being on YouTube for 12 years, you understand the difference between like harassment, mean comments, and then another side where you have to leave YouTube. That's that's a big difference, terrifying stuff. Like to the point, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So how do we explain to you who've been literally waiting over a year now for us to explain to you what's been going on? How do we explain that properly? And I've been thinking about this so much. That's one of the that's really sad, man. Like, like I have seen YouTubers actually leave YouTube because of a situation, you know, like where people like left negative comments, the stalking, they were getting followed, but the stalking was like the worst thing. Like they would get their phone numbers or they would dox their addresses and stuff. That's what you call extremely, extremely sick. You have to be one sick individual. What type of sick individual would do something like that? It's like, what would you get out of it? Like, what do you have to gain from it? You're not gonna gain anything from it. So it's like, why? Why would you wanna put someone else's life in danger? For what? For what? Because in my opinion, you're actually teaching that person to move a lot smarter, you know, but I just think that you have to be a sick individual, man. And this is real life. This is going on right now to this day. Sick individuals. I mean, these people, man, need to be in a mental health ward somewhere on some heavy, serious medication. And I feel like the people who do this stuff are somewhere sitting in a little small room probably living with somebody, waiting until they go to sleep to use the internet to do weird stuff like this. It's like, when you get stalked, people literally sit around all day looking on the phone or on a computer and they're just searching nothing but you. Sick. And I'm hoping that he's gonna say that his attorney and the FBI did what my attorney and them did, track the IP address. That's the thing about Wi-Fi, you can track the IP address. Everybody's cell phone has an IP address. You don't believe me? 
go to your phone. I don't care what type of phone you have or own. Your phone has an IP address to it. There's nothing that you cannot do on your phone or on your computer that cannot be investigated. You can't even hide from it. But let's continue. Tim to do right now. Um, so bear with me. We have to we have to relive some bad memories here. We have to kind of go down this path that we're trying to get out of so that we can help you guys understand um, the justification of why we left YouTube. And hopefully when we're done, you'll know that we left because we had to leave. Okay, um, we've been dealing with, this is like, uh, it's been going on a long time, guys, long time. Um, and we knew when it, it elevated to a certain level of just like we have to literally leave the internet because it's so scary. So I'm gonna just throw a whole bunch of stuff at you. And it was taking our time. It was taking all day to resolve things and really call difficult. people and just literally sit and worry and worry. We've been dealing with some extremely scary stalkers. I'm not, I, I don't. You hear what he just said? He said, not I, he said, we've been dealing with some extremely scary stalkers. This is what we're going through, man. We're going through the same exact thing. We have some scary stalkers, scary stalkers. They're posting old recordings. They're posting addresses and it's all for nothing. Like I know one thing, if a stalker pull up to my house, you're going to get shot. You're going to get shot dead. I'm just going to say it because I can't get in trouble on YouTube or by the law by saying that I will kill one of my stalkers if they pull up to my house because it's already police record. That's the one thing, you have to protect yourself. Once you get all of your information in order and you know the person's identity, their name, age, and all this other stuff, once you file the complaint and you get everything documented, if that person pulls up on you, you literally have a right to protect yourself. The good old state of Texas, I mean, this is the good old state of Texas. You have a right to protect yourself. So if you ever in a position where you have stalkers and, but you can't just shoot someone, you have to make sure that you have the right amount of paperwork in. You have to have all of your ducks in a row. And you also have to have proof, proof that they pose a threat to you. So let's continue on with what he's saying. I don't mean like the stalkers that just kind of call your phone, they get a hold of your number and they're calling you and, they drive past your house. Like, prank phone like calls. It's like targeting, has targeted us for literally just harassment 24-7. Extreme harassment. I'm gonna try to help you guys understand this, okay? Um, these, the stalker, um, stalkers, it turns out. And they're, and they're so scary. Um, I, want, I want you to imagine that you, you have to, you have to have a funeral for somebody that you love these stalkers bomb threaded a funeral. Um, to where literally we had to have like the FBI there. Like the FBI is at the funeral because of these people. And this is like a, a fraction of what they're doing. They've done everything from like uh, getting into our life. They've gotten into our, um, are on, literally in our vehicles, like shutting our vehicles on and off and powering them Whoa. off. And setting the alarm off while we're just sitting at home with our kids. Like the alarm in our house. They turn the power off to our home. This home, they turn, they turn the power off in the middle of the winter. Like we have kids, like we have a family. That mindset to do that to somebody is above and beyond. Like I can't comprehend it. I, I just cannot comprehend it. It's so, gosh. It's just so scary thinking like, okay, now, like, what's next? What? This actually happened. I'm driving, like, somewhere. You're just driving. And you get a call from your insurance rep to ask why we canceled our insurance. Yeah, we were like, literally driving without car insurance. No car insurance. Like Stop. illegally driving because this stalker, stalkers, shut our insurance off. They got in and canceled our policies without us knowing. We spent. You see, that's crazy. Again, keep in mind, man, two things about a stalker. 
And this is 100% facts. A stalker, number one, is broke as hell. Number two, they have all the time in the world on their hand. They're broke, but they have all the time in the world on their hand because they really don't have a life. They don't have anything that they need to do. They have no responsibilities. A stalker, most times are successful at stalking their prey because they literally have no life. If you go and look at a profile of a stalker profile, the same is like a serial killer's profile. The profiles are almost similar. They don't have a life. They've been to jail multiple times. They have a lengthy criminal record, but let's continue. Been days, countless days, not being able to leave the counter because we're on phones with all these companies that we're trying to get our accounts back or trying to prove to them that we're us. Watch us or watch like our, all of our outdoor cameras. Yeah. Like, I think that- He'd send pictures of our cameras to our cell phones. Like, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. So y'all know I've been looking at houses, right? This is how serious my stalker is. I've been looking at houses lately and I have been successful by the grace of God, thank you. I never showed the outside of the house. So the fishing expedition that my stalker is on right now, they posted a picture of a house in a video and they referenced me as, does this house look familiar? Never seen the house in my life. Never seen it in my life. But this goes to show you how serious stalking is. When you move, you don't never want to show the outside of your house. But again, if you decide to stay in the same place where your address has been doxxed, or you know that your stalkers frequently try to ride past and come to, as long as that you have a police report on hand and on file within that county that you live in, you have a right to protect yourself. Because a lot of times stalkers are usually caught and they're usually killed. And a lot of times the person who shot and killed them didn't do a day in jail. And it's an unfortunate situation, but sometimes that's what has to happen. Sometimes it is what it is. You know, um, again, I can't wait to finish this video because I'm interested to see what they did to um, stop it. Um, Which is scary because like our kids go outside and play and it's like... The only thing that we could do was like, shut down and, and make sure our kids are safe and make sure like these people aren't coming into our house these these guys would um like change our mail like of course we would just get mail our mail but instead of saying like roman atwood or Brittany atwood it would say like uh, abortion bombing clinic it was always super like dark and, and evil. It was always like super hateful and super just demented. It was never like something funny or silly, or it was very, very like just dark. It was just, it was so hard to do anything. I'm on the phone for hours and hours. I want to say this too right here, guys. Stalkers are usually someone that you know, and even if you've never met them, someone that you actually communicated with. You know, uh, you have came across your stalker. They're not strange people, guys, trust me. Well, they're strangers in a sense. Now, it, just because you never meet a person doesn't make them a stranger. If you ever communicated with them on any type of social media platform, um, it means that y'all still have some type of contact, communication attachment. So most times stalkers, you know who your stalker is. And sometimes it's just hard to prove that that's the person that's actually stalking you. But 99% of the time, you know who your stalkers are. Trying to, and then he would just call and take them right back. We would get literally like text, like he had everything, he had our phone numbers, everything. He would literally text us saying like, if we don't respond or, Whatever. It was always threatening. It was always very, very threatening. Like you get a so they said he multiple times. They referenced the word he. So their stalker is a he. My stalkers are females. Um, so you never know what your stalker gonna come in, what form they're gonna come in. They're either gonna come in a male form or they're gonna come in a female form. 
but they're referencing a he, which means it must have been like one single person, but we'll find out. A text or like a Discord message or something that would be like, Even if you don't- voicemail. Yeah, voicemails, tons of like, always threatening like, if you don't respond to me, um, you know, this is a game to me. Um, um, and, and then like we would spend all the time to get our numbers changed, like get all it changed and then instantly he texts like, you think you can just change your number? I can honestly say that. Like my stalker, I haven't had to change my phone number. My stalker is basically, I just had to file a police report and then they, the, the stuff was transferred over to my legal um, representative. Um, then the investigator did they part in it. It actually cost me a little bit more than I had to spend because the investigator, I had to eat that fee up because the investigator had to travel. My stalker was not locally right here in Texas. So I had to pay an extra, well, a few extra fees for travel fees and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it was kind of well worth it. Um, I haven't got the result that I'm looking for, but I'm sure that it's definitely coming. It's, it's not, it's, it's definitely coming. And I'm going to make it publicly known when it happens because I think everybody should know and be aware of these type of people. Um, so that way you won't fall victim. Or like, you think you can hide or just super scary guys. Like, like when you think of like intrusive, like it's the most intrusive feeling that we've ever had. It's the worst experience we've ever had in our life above, above and beyond like the harassment of like accounts and hacking and stalking. It was like death threats. Like he literally would say like, he threatened to like hang our whole family on crosses. Um, burn our house down. Um, Very devilish. Super thing. evil stuff, guys. Like, like it. I I have actual chills talking about this stuff because it's so far beyond our mindsets. Like, we, we try so hard to just be good people, lift people, positive people, motivate people. You've been so loyal. You've been with us forever. Like, you don't know how it feels to have to disappear, guys. The safety of our family, it shouldn't even be a question that that's the most important part of our life. And YouTube, and, and, and nothing else is more important than that. So it, it became a point so scared, fearing for our lives. Like we literally have police all around our house all the time. It's just ugly stuff. It's just, ah. I, I feel like a lot of people have dealt with like, the swatting and harassment or sh like if you post an Instagram like they show up there stuff like that It's not like that. We've dealt with that for That's, years and years and yeah. years. It's it's completely It's at a different level. Yeah, different level of like different level of scary like I said There's a big difference between like being a public figure and dealing with what comes with that yeah. and then fearing for your actual life and family That's that's a, there's a huge gap there, a massive gap. Will you please just lighten it up for a second and look at- That's crazy, man. You can't even be successful on YouTube without a stalker trying to chase you around, man, and trying to take from you what you have because they have the same opportunity that you have. They have the same 24 hours in a day that you have, but again, you got to keep in mind what I said earlier. Most of your stalkers are lonely people. They're broke, very broke. They have a lot of time on their hand. And that's how they're able to stalk their prey. I, can, I cannot stress this enough, man. If the police don't take you serious when you've been stalked, if the FBI don't take you serious when you've been stalked, protect yourself. But the first thing you need to do is to make sure, guys, please listen to me. Make sure you have a police report. Not only a police report, get the control number. Make sure you have a copy of the control number in the police report. So when you have to pull that trigger and lay them out, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good, trust me. The amount of things that this, these people have done to us is unbelievably long like it goes on and on at these levels of things it is scary scary creepy stuff it's always really really evil stuff so it goes on and on and on and I...
But are they in jail? I want to get into it. I want to know if they got there's caught. There's a bigger story to come, but this is at least our way to move on. We finally, we, we, we finally even get to make this video because, like I've been telling you, like we just... Tell me they got caught. He's got the big <laughs> Sounds so painful. Like I just kept telling you guys, we, we just can't make this video yet, but we want to. Um, and, and there is light at the end of this tunnel. Good. Um, That's a good thing. We're so thankful for the FBI, um, just above and beyond. It's the only reason we're able to make this video right now yeah. and break down this barrier and move on. Like, you don't know how hard it is for us to, back before we quit YouTube, we were going through all this stuff. You have no idea how hard it is to put that smile on and try to give you my pure energy while this stuff's going on in my life. Sad. So difficult, but things are looking very good. Um, so they caught him. So much in our life has changed, and that there's so many videos that we can make just based on catching you up with our life. And I think that sounds really fun. There's just so much. There's a lot. There's so much. We still have a new child, <laughs> but you guys know. But yeah, you know, <laughs> the scariest time of our life, the most anxiety I've ever had in my life, the most fear I've ever had in my life, it's all from these stalkers. And again, I'm so thankful for the FBI. Um, they got him. They thank caught you, him. Thank you, thank you. We will have even more to this story, but this is our, our, our breaking through it. Like, let's get back to having fun. Please, let's get back to having fun. I'm, yes. I cannot wait to have fun with you guys and to I'm gonna end this video off guys um because it's about the end of it but what I really you know he said thank you to the FBI things is looking up light at the end of the tunnel it lets me know that the FBI caught the person they probably were told not to exploit the person's picture and name but I think I would have um but since it was on a federal level I mean, being that it was on a federal level and what this guy put that family through, I would have definitely had permission from the FBI to put the person's picture and name on their YouTube channel because hacking their banking accounts, uh, breaking into the car, setting alarms off, hacking into the house alarm system, turning the power off, I think that they should have really let him get permission to post it. Mine is not on a federal level because it's not as worse as his. Mine is on a state level. So once mine is once it's wrapped up i will be posting the pictures the investigation report and i also will be doing a breakdown of everything that i had to go through step by step in order to get it to stop but in a way guys i'm grateful that this family is back able to start back uploading videos they're no more in fear of their life all the negative stuff that goes on it always has a conclusion it always has an expiration date whether that person dies of natural causes because they just woke up dead one day or whether they end up getting locked up or whatever the case is something bad may happen to them maybe they'll have a stroke when they sleep and they'll just disappear but whatever the case is just know that the storms only last temporarily nothing is permanently so if you have a situation you go, going on where you are being stalked because stalking is very real real you have some serious sick demented unstable people out here literally i mean how i know i'm being stalked is very obvious i think everybody who watches my channel who knows the situation you guys all know it's nothing more than stalking um but when you have it there's things that you can do there's no need to rash out go crazy make a thousand videos going crazy about situation handle your business first handle your business seek legal help a couple thousand dollars it's not that much money guys it may seem like a lot but any amount of money is worth a peace of mind especially when you get the victory at the end of the day you get to see that person go to jail be prosecuted and then convicted so i'm gonna end this off man comment down below if you ever had a situation like this occur in your life you know someone who's ever been stalked and uh what the outcome was but anyway i love you guys until next time i'm damian crier and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video